Midnight Excursion from the Zen Flesh Zen Bones, the 94th story, written by Paul Ritz. Senge removed the stool and stood there in his place. When the wanderer returned, not knowing that Senge was a stool, he put his feet on the master's head and jumped down to the ground. Yes. Now you have to make them realize that I am when I am available as a wife when I am available. Why are you going out and searching for other girls? You are searching for other girls because you are a slave. You are jumping the wall using another stool. So the wife, the master stood there. When he came back, he thought that was a stool. He put the head, leg on the top of the master's head. And he was a cursed. Yes, such a beautiful master, such a beautiful stool, such a beautiful samskriti. When I had, why did I go out? What did I see in the pleasure john? Fear, pickpocketers, gangsters, dirty food, and all my money is wasted. When I have the freedom inside, first time I understood my master, oh, my wife, oh, my children. That was what they are trying to tell. When the wanderer returned, not knowing the Senge was a stool, he put his feet on the master's head and jumped down to, into the ground. Discovering what he has done, he was aghast. For the first time, he had the satori, enlightenment, orgasmic experience of understanding the family. Oh, I didn't know my land is so beautiful. My joint family, my cousins are so beautiful. There's no beauty above them. Because in this beauty I can explore, but outside beauty they won't allow me to explore. For outside beauty, for anything and everything, you have to pay. At the end, in the payment also, there was no taste. <laughs> As a relative, I can walk right into the bedroom, into the kitchen, but in an outside jaunt family, paid prostitution den into the hotels, you don't know what is dirt over there. Like Mother Teresa was told by the sisters of the convent who runs the leprosy home. Mother, the inmates of the leprosy home, every day and night, they jump the wall. They go out, drink, beg in the street, come back. They don't listen to us. Mother did not give any answer, it seems. One day when mother was walking the street or she purposely understood where these people are begging, she walked into that street and she met these inmates sitting in the road and begging. She went to them and told them, how is your business? That's all. <laughs> they collapsed, they cried. And mother went back. Sisters called mother and said, Mother, I do not know what happened. From the last, after I told the complaint, nobody has left the shelter home. What magic you have done it? That's why people call you Mother Teresa. Any magic, Mother said, No, I just met them on the road. And I went to them and asked, How is your business? That's all. <laughs> Like here, it was a cast. Yes. You have made your husband, your wife to observe you, your whole physical body, your spiritual body with love and affection. Yes. Love how the mother feeds the child, give bath to the child, dress the child, and sleeps with the child. And to make the child sleep, mother tells the story and the child, before the story ends, the child sleeps off. Then the child melted up. The story was not very important. The sound of the mother is enough. Sound of the wife is enough. Sound of the husband is enough. Sound of the teacher is enough. Sound of your boss in the factory is enough for you to be conscious. The moment you go to rob the factory owner, you become deceased. When you point your finger to others, three fingers pointing back to him. Discovering what he has done, he was aghast. Sengai said, it's very chilly in the early morning. Do be careful not to catch cold yourself. The people never went out at night again. And what did the master said? You will catch cold means if you break the rules in the sense, 
if you don't melt if you don't observe me you get carried away by other people you will get cold means they'll rob you they make you a nobody but one step is 10000 steps of slavery <laughs> you will catch cold yourself that's all is and at that moment the, the student understood he became conscious and he never went out again please do not go out <laughs> before you go out make sure you have created your security that is your samskriti that is your yogasana your pranayama yes and your meditation and you to back to your field to talk to your family also your family the joint family and the family tree the people never went out at night study change study to sick 